Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry it's been a little while. I had to redo this one twice because I lost some of the video. Um, so that's been a little bit frustrating, but welcome back to my channel. And here we are doing a 3D butterfly, which will have also water droplets. And I'm just using a light colored rock. That's one of the biggest things with with uh, doing a 3D butterfly is that you have to have a lighter colored rock so that you can see the shading and the shadow. Um, so I'm just drawing on a simple butterfly with pencil. And I'm going to uh, do it all in black. I'm going to do a couple of water droplets on here as well um, because he's a thirsty butterfly. So we're going to do some shading and stuff with those water droplets as well. Now with the shading, I'm gonna do it first to get it out of the way. You're not really gonna notice the 3D effect until we get to the very end. You might notice it along the way um, as well, but I'm gonna do the shading first so that we can get that part done. Now I've gone out of your view for a moment, but I promise to move the rock up in just a second. What I've done is I've watered down some black acrylic paint. You can see just how watery it is. Like you wanna be able to see right through that paint. You don't want it to be too dark so that it just looks like black there. Um, you do wanna still kind of see through it. There, there has to be a little bit of transparency to it. So what I've done is I'm just uh, moving the shadow a little bit out from the wings. Um, you can pause it and see where I'm putting the shadow um, I've just kind of shifted it down and to the right a bit. That's what that shadow is doing. And just try and keep the same shape as your wings, but don't forget it's shifted down and to the right a little bit. Now I am going over and outlining my butterfly so that you can kind of see that there's quite a bit of a difference between that black paint um, and the shadow. So you want to make sure that you have like a, a big line between those two there, a nice thick black line. Now I'm using one of my fine lining brushes that I kind of chopped up myself. Uh, if you want to know how to do that, I do have a tutorial. Um, if you cannot find it in the description of this video, which I promise I'll put it in there, but a lot of you, um, just you're just like, I don't even know where the description is. So I'm just going to tell you, go to my channel and search through all of my videos. There's over 40 of them. And uh, you'll be able to find not only my fine lining brush, but my blending brush that I used for the shadow which is just a chopped up brush as well. You can also use a sponge. Now for the wings, I, I did color in my body black and the uh, wings have all been outlined. Um, and now for, I, I waited for it to dry before I'm sponging on any color. So I'm using a light blue uh, called, I believe it's called ocean blue. Then there's Cayman blue, which is a little bit darker. And I'm also using magenta and a deep eggplant purple. So this is just gonna, I'm blending this on while it's wet um, and I'm just mixing and mingling in these colors in and there's gonna be a gradual change from color to color but I don't want you to worry too much about how perfect you get it because if you struggle with blending, um, which I did in the very beginning as well, um, when we put our design over top of this blending bit, you're not even gonna notice any of your imperfections, so don't even worry about it. Just try to blend in some colors here. You don't even have to use the same colors that I'm using, um, but just try and blend in the best that you can. And it's easier to blend when your paint is wet. Now, when I go from that blue to the magenta, it does leave like it, it mixes together into a purple, so it actually looks really cool. And I just keep blending it back and forth, the blue and the red, the blue and the red, or sorry, blue and magenta, and then it, it just kind of mingles in together and flows from one color to the next. Um, and we are going to be drawing a black design over top of this color, 
um, like a, a butterfly design that we're making up today. So I have no idea what it's going to look like until we do it. <laughs> um, now, uh, you can do whatever kind of design you feel comfortable with. Same with the colors that you choose. This is not a realistically colored butterfly. And um, most butterflies don't have gold on them either. But we're going to be using some rose gold today on this as well. Um, so as you can see, I just blended in the magenta to the blue, and then I'm blending in the eggplant purple uh, to the magenta at the very edge. And some of that's going to be covered up. You're not even going to see some of that because there is going to be the, the black design over top. But um, so like I said, don't worry if you're not happy with all the blended parts. Uh, it's all going to come together when we're finished. Um, and I've left the water droplets until after. So if you want more time, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time with the water droplets today. Um, but if you want extra help with water droplets, I do have a specific tutorial that is just on the water droplets. So take a look in the description. I will post it there and or check out my whole list of videos on my channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the the bell beside the subscribe button. That way you know the second I upload a tutorial. So if you've been waiting for a while and you, you know, you're wondering what's going on and sometimes I don't even get around to letting Facebook know or Instagram know uh, before it's even posted because sometimes it, it uploads onto YouTube quicker than I expect. Um, so, you know, if you are not sure, just hit the alarm button or the alarm bell and that will notify you when, when I post something new, um, so that you don't miss out on any of them. Now, once your blended portion is dry, I'm using nail glitter or shell powder or chrome powder. I'm going to leave the link for that as well. I always get mine on Amazon and a little goes a long way and it lasts a long time. So, you know, it's not that expensive and it does magical wonders to our stones. Um, so I'm blending on like a pinkish colored glitter. Uh, you can also use like eyeshadow and stuff like that. Um, anything that's glittery, you can put it on there. Just be creative. I'm also putting a little bit of bluish colored glitter. They are going to kind of mingle in together and make a bit of a purple glitter as well. It all kind of flows in together with the colors that I chose today. So I've used pink and blue glitter for nails on this butterfly. Now I'm just going to kind of rub it in a little bit to kind of set it on the paint and then you can dust it off using a brush or blow it off with a hair dryer really quick or even your mouth. Just, just get rid of any extra dust that has settled anywhere on the stone. As you can see, I have to re-outline everything because I've, I've blended some paint over top of my black lines and also the body of my butterfly is covered in sparkles. So we're going to be going over that as well. Now, as for the black design over top, I'm doing like three loops and then I kind of turn those loops into teardrops. That's the best way for me to explain it. They might not be perfect teardrops, but they're kind of shaped like a teardrop. Um, I'm going to keep all of those teardrop portions open. Okay, we're not going to paint that black. So I'm doing the same thing on the bottom wings, three loops, three bumps, I guess you can call them. And then I'm doing like a same thing that I did up top, except for I put those lines there beside the body. And I'm going to do like teardrops again. I just kind of attach these loops together. And then anything inside those loops, we're going to keep it colored. Anything on the outside of those loops, we're going to paint it black. So you'll be able to see here in just a moment. You can already kind of see this butterfly is lifting up off the rock. So if you've seen my other 3D butterfly, it is a dotted wing on that butterfly. And some people are a little bit intimidated by the dots and they're not comfortable with that. So I wanted to make sure to make a floating butterfly that wasn't dotted, but was still gorgeous so that you can all give it a try. And if you've practiced any water droplets, um, then you can put as many as you want on your stone. Uh, if you're not comfortable with that, that's also something that you can just leave out if you're, if you're happy just leaving it out. So as you can see, I am using my fine lining brush and I'm just filling in all of that space, keeping all of those oddly shaped teardrops 
I'm going to keep those all colorful. You can still see the gradual change from the light blue to the darker blue to the magenta and the purple, and it's really starting to pop off the rock now. Now we are going to use some white and some black to do the water droplets. Like I said, I'm not going to spend too much time on it here. Uh, I start with the lower part being white and the upper part being black, and then I kind of blend them in together using my tiny little blending brush, uh, which is right here. I will leave a tutorial in the description. If you cannot find it, it will be located in my tutorials on my channel. So I'm just blending them back and forth. Once you're happy with it being all blended in, you add a little bit of white to it to bring it alive, make it look a little more like a water droplet, because there's got to be some reflection when you got something as shiny as a water droplet. So I am using my blending brush and my fine lining brush for this entire rock today. And feel free to uh, take a look at those tutorials and practice. Practice these water droplets until you're happy with them. There, I've added the little white bit there. And then I will get the other ones done as well. But don't forget, we have to put a little shadow there. So the same thing that I did with the butterfly, I watered down the black acrylic paint. Really water it down. Because once it's dry, it's going to dry lighter. It's not going to be as dark. Um, so I've got a little bit of shadow on all of my water droplets now, so they actually look like they're sitting up above the rock. And I've made sure to put a shadow underneath the antennae and the head of the butterfly. Don't forget those little parts too. Now I'm going in with the rose gold. This is how we can separate the wing from the shadow really well. And this totally makes it look like the butterfly is, is floating above the rock here. I'm just outlining everything in folk art acrylic uh, rose gold and just, just outlining the wings, but I'm making sure to keep a little bit of the black on the outside. So I'm not going right to the edge with the gold. I want there to be definition of that black outline there. It is floating above the rock, people. Now, some people choose not to resin it because it looks different once it's shiny. But I'm going to make mine shiny today for you guys because I do want to protect my artwork and uh, make sure it's nice and brightly colored. So I'm going to show you what mine looks like now with it being resined. Very, very shiny, very, very glassy looking, but look at the sparkles in that. And because I used a lighter color rock, you can still see the shading after it's been resin, because keep that in mind, your resin, your rocks do get darker when you seal them. So make sure it's a very light colored rock to do this on. Um, I just want to thank all of you for being patient with me. I've been so busy and I've had some editing issues. Um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and it's not too confusing for you. If you need any help, message me on Facebook or you can also message me on or just comment on this video here on YouTube and I'll, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But I hope you guys loved it. I hope it's awesome. I'll be putting up another tutorial this week as well. I'm so excited. It's May. We have nice warm weather weather and the butterflies are coming out. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. Share the video, share it so everybody can paint with us and uh, you guys rock, all of you.